So I just finished my shoulders and triceps workout and I decided to make this quick video because I just have to share with you guys how much cooler Michelle's Body Shop is becoming. So you know how uh, I've said many times that there's great deals out there that you can find to start your own home gym? Well, <laughs> Ryan has taken that to the, a new level. Um, and some of the discounts he's found, I'm gonna pass on to you, but some I'm keeping for myself and I'm really excited about it. So um, to start with, I guess the first thing I'll show you is, this isn't um, something we've purchased obviously, but um, I'm really excited about uh, having my workout plan on display down here, this big whiteboard, the writing's so tiny because I have five days of uh, my success plan as I like to call it. Um, got room on this board for others who will be joining me uh, in Michelle's Body Shop uh, probably early May. Um, okay, so are you ready? You know how uh, I talked about in one of my previous videos that the barbell that I use is very rusty and I was planning to restore this barbell. Well, no need anymore. I will be selling that rusty barbell because now <laughs> I have this incredible, awesome, epic black and red barbell. Um, yeah, this thing is awesome and it's so beautiful that I'm actually a little nervous about, I'm hesitant to put weights on it because I don't want to scratch it up. Isn't that sad? But yeah, no, I'm going to break this thing in soon enough. But it does mean that my, um, my pad that I use uh, doesn't need to be pink because I don't want it to be Valentine's Day. <laughs> so yeah, I've got another one coming on the way. Um, and of course, I have this sheet covering my mirror because I don't want you to see what's on the other side of me right now because that is the best thing ever and um, I'm waiting to reveal that last. So um, also just something that um, I've purchased. <clears throat> I bought uh, you know how uh, I've complained a little bit about how this uh, cable is a little too short. So I've had to, you know, stand up on the pads down here in order to fully extend my tricep extensions. Well, I decided to uh, see what's out there. And so I got this chain to extend it, not to mention the fact that I now have a, a bar that swivels like that. And um, I didn't appreciate how important that was until I had some that didn't. And, and it just is, it's just a little more cumbersome, but now it's uh, very smooth and easy to use. Uh, also, I went ahead and bought uh, some of these, the ropes, amazing. I mean, it's taken, <laughs> it taken several workouts of mine up to the next level. So um, now I feel like I'm a real gym. <laughs> um, but that's not all, and this isn't even the best part. So you may have seen a marketplace that I've listed. <laughs> These are amazing, check it out. I don't have just one, but two uh, kicking targets. So yeah, uh, kicking, punching bags, uh, the stationary kind, you just fill the base with sand. And uh, yeah, it's, um, well, 68, 67, 68 inches tall, something like that. Uh, so it's, and it's, um, with when it's filled with sand, it's very stable. Uh, I've used this sort of thing before and um, it's an excellent deal. If you wanna check out <clears throat> Facebook Marketplace uh, or even just look on my wall, I've linked uh, a couple of things there. Uh, so one of these are for sale and one of these are for me to keep. So obviously I've gotta do a little rearranging in this gym to make room for all the amazing stuff. But are you ready? Are you ready? Now, I don't know if this will excite others as much as it does me, but I now have a stretching station. Will you look at this amazing, incredible thing? And by the way, uh, I climbed it immediately <laughs> because that's really kind of what I want to use it for. Like I will use it for stretching, but I actually will probably climb it. But here's the best part. I actually, even though it's not very tall, I mean, it's it's tall enough that I have to hop to uh, reach the top, um, but it is a great place for me to hang my climbing rope, and I can't climb very far in it, but you know what, let's just face it, climbing ropes without knots are very difficult. Um, I've already tried it, it's really hard. <laughs> So if I have that, uh, you know, hooked up here, essentially, I can practice every single day until I get good at it. And then um, what I've decided with the climbing rope is that um, over the summer, probably early summer, 
I'm gonna clear out some of the old um, playground equipment that still is in my backyard, believe it or not, you guys, my kids are adults, <laughs> sad. Um, but I'm gonna build an outdoor gym. Um, it's not gonna have tons of stuff. I mean, and I'm not gonna do like the big giant tire that you flip because I don't really see a point in that myself. I mean, I like, I like that people do it and I do think it's good to work out with, um, doing an actual, you know, function of some sort, like, you know, you're working hard, flipping a tire, not just lifting some weights. I, I can appreciate that, but uh, I think tires are great places for bees to build nests. And, um, and plus it'll just, you know, tear up my yard even worse than, you know, the weeds, <laughs> heaven forbid the weeds should get torn up. <laughs> um, so yeah, probably not that, but, uh, definitely a legitimate 15 foot, you know, platform for my 15 foot rope. And if I get good enough at climbing a rope, I actually want to have a series of ropes. <laughs> so this might be a little ridiculous, maybe, I don't know, but <clears throat> there was an old water park nearby called Sun Valley Beach. And um, I remember uh, they used to have a series of ropes that you know were knotted ropes. And so you could just swing from rope to rope. And of course, if you fell, you're just in the water and that's kind of the point. Um, I don't want to fall, <laughs> but um, it does, I do remember that being super fun. So um, that's kind of my end goal. Not sure what else my outdoor gym will have, but anyway, yeah, I can't, I can't, uh, I can't thank Ryan enough for this. I mean, he got this in a box uh, at, at, at an incredible deal, and he thought it was going to be missing pieces because that's that's the deal with this discount place. <clears throat> but uh, but no, he he spent hours in his driveway assembling this massive, heavy thing. And, uh, and then he brought it over here and now it is a part of Michelle's Body Shop. And I am telling you, I am the luckiest girl. <laughs> so, all right. Well, Abby and Nicole, I look forward to your visits. We got work to do. <laughs>